If you know ahead of time that you will be giving birth to your baby via cesarean section, your healthcare provider will schedule an appointment for you at the pre-op clinic. During this appointment, a thorough medical will be conducted and you'll have the opportunity to discuss anesthetic and pain relief options with an anesthesiologist. A date and time for your cesarean will be booked and you will be asked to sign a consent form. During the pre-op appointment, a nurse will uh, obtain blood work, which is required for all surgeries. You, you need uh, blood work. And um, then the following day, they come to our unit. We have scheduled C-sections. You will need to arrive at the hospital at least two hours ahead of time. When a woman arrives on our birthing unit for a scheduled cesarean section, she'll be greeted by our desk clerk and taken to a room where a nurse will come in and take her vital signs and listen to her baby's heartbeat, start an IV and uh, follow the orders for what is required for the cesarean. You won't be able to eat or drink anything after midnight the night before. You will be asked to remove all nail polish from your fingernails and toenails, to leave all jewelry at home, to remove tongue rings and other piercings, and to wear glasses rather than contact lenses. If you take certain types of medications on a daily basis, ask your doctor or the anesthesiologist at the pre-op clinic whether or not you should take it on the day you are scheduled to have your cesarean. You are welcome to bring one support person with you to the hospital. Other family members and friends are welcome to wait in the family lounge at the birthing unit, but they may be more comfortable waiting at home until you call them with the good news. When it is time for your cesarean, you will walk down the hall to the operating room. After you have been prepped for the surgery, your partner will be invited to join you to participate in the birth of your baby.